Hi, welcome back. I'm David the Good, and today we are going to make easy homemade organic potting soil. That's it. Three ingredients. Rotten wood, some sifted soil and grit from my chicken run, and some aged manure. It's been sitting on a uh, piece of steel sitting on top of my chicken coop for a while, so it's kind of had the real hotness baked out of it. Just cow manure. I've done the same thing with rotten wood chips, letting a big pile of tree company mulch just sit and rot and rot and rot. Back when I had a plant nursery, I would take that, I would mix it with whatever old potting soil I had from pots that were sitting around and plants had died or whatever else, and I would just pile it up with that stuff, and then I would throw in rabbit manure when I had it and kind of make a slow release uh, mineral rich soil over time. So, I mean, some of you are probably looking at it right now and saying, man, that is some chunky stuff. Well, I found that having larger particle size mixed in with smaller particle size, I even throw in bits of charcoal and that kind of thing, um, the rotten wood, it doesn't hurt the plants. They actually seem to like it. I think it makes more pore space um, and the wood really soaks up a lot of water and becomes sort of a kind of a mini hugel culture in the bottom of the pots. So look up hugel culture if you don't know what it is. So if you wanted this soil to be better for you know doing little seedlings and, and trays instead of doing larger pots like the coffee that I just potted up, well, you just have to get out a sifter, get a piece of um, hardware cloth and sift it through and maybe crush up some of those bigger pieces a little further, however works for you. Put them in a sack, stomp on them, crush them on the driveway, whatever you wanna do. But I am, usually I just go with a large particle size for my trees that I'm potting up and my other plants. So that's it, very easy organic, homemade, wonderful potting soil. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to check me out on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com where I have over 1,300 articles on all kinds of gardening topics and I can get you started no matter where you are. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David, David the Good. Listen to Portis Head and drink spiced rum. Even though Jimmy the Roach was very scared, he still decided to strike out on his own.